Bob Chung here. Hi Deb Franklin on. Carl Talbert from Electro Wild here. Hi Betsy Wheeler here. Let's begin. Yes. To continue on from last week's items, 23, have we got any answer on how you want the signal conditioner installed? Well, Lima, well, I'll use some thin about that. Right. We've had a few guys on this and wait. Well, I think we already have that change sent through message star to you. Deb. To me? Yeah, you are the buyer on this job. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So did you see that memo that incorporated this change I emailed you? What was it? Last Friday? No, I daren't see no email. Well, I'll resend that memo as soon as we let out. Can I remind you, Chang, that all your know, emails need to be directed through them proper channels. Well, I'll have to check with the IT technician over the communications department back in building B74 that my emails are going through all the correct firewalls, networks, waterfalls and whatever else will move this thing along. Moving on, how about response on the proposal to expand our warehouse to accommodate these changes? Debbie? Am I working it? Okay, item 29. We are making some headway on the facility power mods. Have you guys looked at your prototype like we discussed? I have not spent as much time down in the lab as I would have liked, but from what I can tell, the third phase of the Magnum K0 switch definitely needs to see 87 amps, or 900 wankers normal power for the oscillator to maintain its effective unabolished diagnostic effluent performance. Debbie? Yeah, the power is real big for such a thing like flying this bad boy a long way. Huh? Now, Debbie, I can't believe you're not getting some of my emails. How your sister doing, Chang? She's doing fine, better now that she got that thing out of her. Right. The surgery has definitely done her good. But I can't get around that husband of hers. Really? So he's Korean and you know how I like Koreans, about like the mud on my ties right now. And he's been doing this annoying exercise of getting up in the morning and... Right. I'm sure it's tough, Chang. Wait, Chang, didn't I hear you say 400 wankers? Well, it's 375 watts to some people, but me I prefer to look at power in terms of wankers. I'm going to Google that. Please do. We need to hurry up. I need to get back for my ancillary meeting in C478 like 2.30. Okay, item 45 on all the missing schematics for Unit 2. Any word on when these will be finished? Our engineering is really pushing on a lot of ends right now. Real hard I'm telling you yo. Thanks Debbie, for the DC breaker assembly, we're still working out a few bugs that as you know, led to the failure of the isolation circuit, and in turn the main transformer. The AC were a little further along, and as far as the Optra assembly, I thought you guys had this schematic. I'll check but that would have been big news to me. I haven't seen it. I'll have to check my emails again, Debbie, but that one from the 23rd got forwarded to Electro Wild, right? Well I could look at this computer that's sitting here in front of me and check, but it's doing its little up updating thing right now. But I think I did. Again I'll check but we have guys downstairs just itching to put the box together. Right. Debbie I'm gonna go over to those guys in building B74 and ask if they've got that new server updated. Yeah, the internet where I'm at is terrible right now. Can't do none of my stuff. Those guys are crazy over there in B74. One day I walked in and some of them were all decked out in different disguises. One was a ghost. One was a fireman. One was a superhero. Everybody was wearing something. Even little Angela was wearing this nurse getup. It was fantastic. Chang, was that Halloween? Oh right, Halloween. Now, Chang, I did not know you didn't like your brother-in-law. Koreans, yeah, he gets up first thing in the morning and feels the urge to floss his teeth. Except it's like hearing chainsaws at five in the morning. He gets out the water pick, really goes the whole nine yards. Now I've got a water pick, Chang. Yeah, but he's got this 300 watt or 400 wankers to you, Carl, device that not only just flosses your teeth, it catapults the water on your teeth in like five different ways. It gets all those bits of sausage or flakes of corn, bits of coffee out of every crevice in your gum line. It's kind of amazing, except not at five in the morning. They've even got a model that you can carry around in your pocket for those midday flosses. A pocket flosser sounds interesting. What? Technique. Alright, moving on to item 49. It has come to our attention, the power supply you had originally in mind is now obsolete. I hate to tell you, but our supplier has moved on to a different line and they're not offering the quantities you require. Human, they can't do that. Well I'm telling you they had like three in stock. Date ain't right. It's the way it is. Did they offer a replacement part number? They said a few of their newer models carry the same characteristics, but there is not one that exactly matches what you have down for us to buy. I wonder if you can look into the specifications of the original model and tell us the difference. MMM. Yeah, we need Tom's power supplies. 
Yes there cannot be that big a difference in the output of any of those models. Dubby shouldn't they be working it from that angle? Yeah, uh -huh. What do you mean by you? Well there can't be that much difference in our original ones and the ones the state line now offers, if that is the correct maker. Excuse me. Yeah I think it is. No I mean we're already trying our best to navigate what could be called flaws in your design. We're just building this thing. Dubby I can't believe you're not getting my emails. Are you going through them proper channels? Do you mean TV channels, radio stations? What are you talking about channels? Don't get smart, Chang. Know who you work for. I work for Tom Peter, Debbie. Okay, so on item 49, is there going to be a new power supply? I'll send Debbie an email. Good answer. I checked my email, Chang. And for what it's worth, this Burger King ain't sitting too well. No, Debbie. Can we close? I think we should. Carl, have I told you about my latest trip out on Lake Bikewick? Not now, girl. Well, I did catch 49 Carapian 23 base, some large mouth, some small mouth. I had my sister and brother and all with me. It was fantastic, until that Korean fell out of the boat. We go out every Saturday morning, and for some reason this week he decides to tag along. And he insisted on bringing his Blu-ray player and high-definition television so he could watch the ping-pong match or whatever it is Koreans watch. Chang? Out on the water, soaking in the rays. Me, I was fixing up a light dinner of kitchen tuna delight. It has a little mayonnaise, chopped onions, capers, red chilies. You have to cut a lemon to give it a squeeze. Then I got to stirring my tea I was brewing when. You do all that in a boat? Yes, and the cream brawl was amazing. But my brother-in-law decides to play with the antenna so he could get the game and slips on the anchor rope and falls in the lake. I'm not kidding. Unreal. Yes I know, my sister is sitting there sewing a vest like always. But the shock of all the electricity hitting the water turned up so many fish. They were laying there dead, so we netted them up. So how many did you really catch Chang? Fish. Yes, fish. All with my brother's splash into the lake, a hundred or so. It was splendid. There were so many people out that day. And the weather was beautiful. I've got to go there, hun. Close. Close.